NATO Secretary General Mark Ruta addressed reports of North Korea allegedly dispatching troops to Russia for its war in Ukraine, saying that the move would mark a significant escalation. Speaking in Tallinn, Ruta said that South Korean President Yoon suk yeol is sending experts to Brussels soon to brief ambassadors at the 32-nation military alliance. That will now happen early next week, and then we will see whether North Korea is indeed, or not, supporting Russia's illegal war in Ukraine," Ruta said. If that would be the case, if they would be sending troops to Ukraine, that would mark a significant escalation," he added. South Korea's spy agency said last week it had confirmed that North Korea sent 1,500 special operation forces to Russia this month. On Tuesday, the country said it could consider supplying weapons to Ukraine in response. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said his government had intelligence that 10,000 North Korea soldiers were being prepared to join invading Russian forces. In 23, Hamas-led militants blew holes in Israel's security fence and stormed in, killing some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducting another 250. Israel's offensive in Gaza has killed over 42,000 Palestinians, according to local health authorities, who do not differentiate between militants and civilians. The war has destroyed large areas of Gaza and displaced about 90% of its population of 2.3 million people. The United Nations Conference on Trade and Development said in a report that it could take 350 years for Gaza's battered economy to return to its precarious pre-war level. I welcome Estonia's significant contribution to NATO's high readiness forces and your efforts to further improve readiness. By spending over 3% of your GDP on defense, Estonia is truly leading by example. And I know you intend to invest even more in our shared security in the coming years. Investing more is something all allies will need to, will need to do to meet our capability targets. This is essential for us in order to continue to deter and defend against the challenges we face. Here in Estonia, you know how close some of those challenges can be. Um, I asked the president and, and he said I will absolutely do that uh, to send experts from the Republic of Korea uh, to brief the North uh, Atlantic Council. That will now happen early next week. Um, and then we will see whether North Korea is indeed or not uh, supporting um, Russia's illegal uh, war in Ukraine. If that would be the case, if they would be sending troops uh, to Ukraine, that would mark a significant escalation. That would really be uh, uh, important, a significant escalation. So at this moment, uh, I cannot confirm it uh, other than that we will get the latest update from South Korea early next week. The South Korean government demanded the immediate withdrawal of North Korean troops allegedly deployed in Russia, warning the government will not stand by. South Korean Deputy National Security Advisor Kim Taehyo spoke at a news conference Tuesday afternoon following a National Security Council meeting. If this illegal cooperation between North Korea and Russia continues the government will not stand by, and it will respond in a firm manner with the international community, he said. Kim also said response measures would be taken in steps but did not specify the measures that may be taken. South Korea's spy agency said Friday it had confirmed that North Korea sent 1,500 special operation forces to Russia this month to support Moscow's war in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also said his government had intelligence that 10,000 North Korean soldiers were being prepared to join invading Russian forces. Cooperation between North Korea and Russia has flourished over the past two years. The US, South Korea, and their partners have accused North Korea of supplying conventional arms to Russia in return for economic and military assistance. In June, Kim and Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a pact stipulating mutual military assistance if either country is attacked. 
우리 뷰를 시작하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 안녕하세요. 정부는 북한군의 즉각적인 철수를 촉구하며 현재와 같은 북한과 러시아의 군사적 야합이 지속될 경우 이를 좌시하지 않고 국제사회와 함께 단호하게 대처해 나가기로 했습니다. 정부는 북한의 전투병력 파병에 따른 러북 군사협력의 진전 추이에 따라 단계적인 대응 조치를 실행해 나갈 것입니다. 행위라고 시작하고 이를 강력히 비판했습니다.